Say an Albuquerque man went around terrorizing businesses last month with a gun. Now, new lapel video shows employees describing the moments they confronted the suspect. News 13's Gina Nguyen shows us. One employee says he thought Jaquan Abe was trying to kill him. He told officers he couldn't believe he's still alive. When Albuquerque police officers were called to an auto shop near I-40 and Eubank last month, an employee told officers a man came up to him demanding security video of his nearby home. I said, I don't have any film in your house, and he had a razor blade. Police say that man was Jaquan Abe. Shortly after the employee encountered the 22-year-old, things got violent. We keep a 9 millimeter sitting there. I hosted it just to make sure, and I walked out there, and he goes, that don't scare me, and he just started hitting me. Part of the struggle was captured on security video, appearing to show Abe trying to shoot at the man. He pulled trigger three times, and I don't know why it didn't go off. He didn't, have, he didn't know how to work the safety. With a huge cut on his face, the employee told officers he took a good beating. He cut my face up pretty good, my jaw sort of and couldn't believe he lived through the incident to tell officers what happened. He would have put three rounds on me right there. I would not be talking right now. He beat on me pretty good, but you know what? That's, I'm alive. That's exactly right. Police say Abe then robbed an insurance office nearby, and the employee there gave him $60. Another man who worked at the smoke shop right next door confronted Abe and told officers he tried to reason with him. Aaron, I told him, what do you mean it's a game? You don't come in here and try and rob people like this. Like, what are you doing? But Abe quickly took off. Officers were not able to find him until a few days later. He was taken to jail and charged with attempted murder, aggravated battery, and armed robbery with a deadly weapon. Those charges have since been dropped. Abe is now facing federal charges of robbery, brandishing a gun during a violent crime, and being a felon with a gun. Jeannie Nguyen, KRQE News 13. Abe's rap sheet includes charges from 2016 for aggravated battery causing great bodily harm.